everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tess and I make videos about stretching our money as far as I can. And today's video is my weekly grocery haul from Lidl and the meal plan for the meals that we're going to make through the week for us in our family of four adults. Um, I'll show you what we're going to have for breakfast, dinner and tea. There are also some bits and bobs for snacks and something a little sweet after a meal. Um, if I say if it's wanted, it will be wanted. <laughs> and I've also topped up the prepper pantry, if you want to call it that, a pantry, where I try these days to have a good stock of food for us all for sticky situations. So my budget for the week is between 40 and 50 pounds. So this week I spent £50 and 53 pence on the groceries for the week and then £7.79 for things to go in the pantry to stock up. Um, so I'm at the top end of my budget and then it, for the week's groceries and then a little bit extra to stock up but, but I'm pretty happy with that. So I'll show you the meal plan, I'll show you what groceries I've bought to make those meals with and then at the end I had a little pick up from Olio which I'll also show you so I've got some free food which is always good my favourite price. <laughs> so here's our meal plan for this coming week. So as usual I don't know if you need to see breakfasts because they're always the same and lunches really but for breakfasts we'll have a choice of toppings on toast basically. Jam, marmite, peanut butter, eggs, bacon for dinner we always have a selection of sandwich fillings. I am a bit of a predictable toast for breakfast, sandwich for lunch person. <laughs> I'm sure there are more interesting things to have but that's what I always want so that's what I always think of. And for teas this week we are having, in no particular order, chicken stir fry with rice. We'll put some eggs through that as well. Uh, we've got some leftover bolognese in the fridge which needs using up so we'll have that with some spaghetti and garlic bread. I'll make a lasagna this week, fish cakes and chips, pasta carbonara, pasta pesto with sausages and one night we'll just have good old egg beans and chips. Can't beat it. So that's our meal plan for the week on our budget. So the groceries I've picked up this week are um, six seeded folded flatbreads, some spreadable butter, a carton of fresh double cream, some cheese triangles, six pints of milk, some blue Stilton cheese and red Leicester cheese, pack of smoked ham, some split pot yoghurts, macaroni and cheese pasta in sauce, it's just something that the lads can make for themselves if they would need a late night something, <laughs> carb influx. Um, there wasn't any bread flour at Lidl today so I've bought a bag of plain flour um, because one of you lovely people in the comments told me that if I add some vital wheat gluten, just a teaspoon per 500 grams to just regular plain flour, it will work just the same as bread flour. So I'm going to give that a go um, because I have vital wheat gluten in for my low carb bread so I always have that in and um, this was substantially cheaper than the bread flour. I think this was 45p or 48p and bread flour is 89p. So I'll give that a go. Picked up some green pesto, some oregano and smoked paprika. And then um, on the meal plan I did have some mackerel fish cakes. Um, but I saw this salmon and it was about the same price, just £2.64 for this pack. So I'll make salmon fish cakes instead. 
got some lean minced beef and some chicken wings and then I couldn't pass up on this really some lean pork mince for just £1.56 sorry £1.57 so I can add that to the lean beef mince and bulk out that meal and make two meals from it easily two meals for four uh, I've got some spicy salami a garlic baguette a frozen cheesecake some lasagna sheets bean sprouts half a dozen eggs we are still getting eggs from the chickens but not very many we've got we've kind of gone down from two a day to one a day so um, I'm buying a few eggs every now and then got these lovely vine tomatoes they weren't on my list I've got homegrown tomatoes but they looked really nice and I thought I wanted to have them got a blue dragon sweet chili and garlic stir fry sauce I usually don't buy ready-made sauces but again I thought that looked really nice and wanted to give myself an easy time and have a ready-made sauce this week a pack of pasta a pomegranate because my youngest really likes them and they're in season at the moment a pack of toilet tissue and excuse me I just need to lift a cat down <laughs> I was trying to look at the shopping <laughs> um, they had quite a big reduced section and I found this <coughs> hot salsa which was 55 pence and I know Sam would appreciate that Got three packets of biscuits, well, two packets of biscuits and some chocolate chip cake bars for desserts. A pack of spaghetti, and I've bought another pack of cooking bacon. This is a kilo for £1.45, but we do still have some left from last week, so I'll pop this in the freezer um, and we'll probably break into it this week, but we won't need nearly even half of it. A pack of pork chipolata sausages. And that was it for the grocery shop. Now these uh, Betty Crocker low-fat blueberry muffin mixes were reduced to £1.39 from £1.99 I think that says. They've got a really good date on them. They're good until the 30th of June 2023. Um, and we often make if I do any baking it's from scratch usually but just for one of those days where I don't want to do anything from scratch <laughs> um, these are really handy to have in I got two litres of skimmed UHT milk ultra heat treated milk which is shelf stable until April 2023 two tins of sweet corn and two tins of sliced mushrooms so I'll be adding those to my pantry for emergencies and I also was very lucky to pick up some food from Olio and I'll show you that next so I had a look on Olio last night and um, saw somebody had just uploaded a load of stuff that they'd picked up from Iceland and um, there were four bags of kale which I'm not going to fiddle with them because they'll rattle <laughs> and um, nobody had asked for them so I thought well I'll ask and see if I can have all four because she said to tell her how many were requ were wanted so I said is it possible to have all four and she replied immediately yes that's great um, my plan is to give it all a sort through and a rinse and then dehydrate it. I'd like to make some kale powder. Um, I think it'd be great to add to all sorts of meals and soups and stews and casseroles. So I went to pick this up this morning on my way to the supermarket and once I got there she said do you like anything else? <laughs> and she gave me four tubs of coleslaw two packs of sweet and crunchy salad leaves 
two packs of um, baby leaf salads and a pack of baby spinach. <laughs> so that's an absolute pile of leaves. Some of this we'll get through. Some of it um, is I could dehydrate the spinach but I don't know if I've got enough room in my dehydrator to get all of that done as well as the kale before it's well past its use by. So um, I like to eat spinach um, in salads. I could put some in the stir fry and I could certainly eat some um, coleslaw. It says used by the 9th of October but I'm going to use my sensible um, senses <laughs> and I'm going to smell it and taste it and it looks fine but I'll see what it's like. It should have been used by yesterday. I'm not terribly worried about that but I will see how it is before I give it to anybody else <laughs> and it might be that a neighbour would like a couple of packs of these. But either way, I'm super pleased with that. I love kale, I love all the leaves that we've got and I like coleslaw and I never buy it because usually if I'm going to have coleslaw I make it at home. Um, but this will be great. So for those of you who don't know, Olio, O-L-I-O, Olio, is a food waste app um, where people collect food from supermarkets that they can no longer sell and offer it on the Olio app and you can ask for things and then you just go pick them up unless they've already gone I did ask for some bread last night but it had already gone <laughs> but otherwise it's it's fantastic so to get all this great food here for free is wonderful so thanks very much for watching I hope that was helpful and useful um, do let me know what you think down in the comments what would you do with all this kale and spinach and coleslaw? <laughs> Any thoughts? Um, and I'll, anyway, I'll see you all again really soon. You take care now. Bye for now. Got the white knuckles on